Besides the three networks required to run Docker, there's also the option to create user-defined networks using either of the two drivers that Docker ships with, or by implementing your own network driver. The basic type of user-defined network is the bridge type, which is similar to Docker Zero, or the default network. A user-defined bridge network allows you to create a completely isolated network on a single machine that a number of containers can run in. We can easily create a new named bridge network on our Docker host using the docker network create command. This command simply accepts the driver type and a unique network name as arguments. We need to specify the driver type using the driver flag. Since we're creating a bridge network, we'll specify bridge as the driver name. Finally, we need to specify a unique name for our network. We'll call ours my-network. And we can see here that this command simply created our user-defined network and printed the network's ID hash. To verify that we now have a fourth network option on our Docker host, we can issue the command docker network ls, which will list all of the available networks. There is now a fourth network listed at the bottom of the available networks, and this is the network named my network that we just created. To launch containers within this network, we can specify the network name using the net option with docker run. Let's run our Hello O'Reilly HTTP application on our newly created network. Notice that I am still passing the dash D flag to Docker Run. This is because it's still possible to map ports to the Docker host, even in a custom-defined bridge network. The standard rules here still apply. Next, we will use the net flag to specify my network as the network to launch our container on. Our container is now launched on the network named my network. We can inspect our running container to verify that we launched on the appropriate network. We can see here in the docker inspect JSON for our container that we have been launched on my network. Containers running in this network will be completely isolated from containers running on the default bridge network. This type of user-defined network works great for running multiple isolated networks on the same machine. One drawback of user-defined bridge networks is that you cannot use the now deprecated linking functionality to link containers together. The other type of user-defined network available out of the box with Docker is the overlay network. This type allows us to build networks of containers that span multiple Docker hosts. When we discuss Docker Swarm in a later chapter, we will configure a multi-host overlay network.